So hey guys, we are uh, today going to review our first review on a Save the Ukami Trooper with a visor. An action figure that I love very so much. Now, first of all, his gun. It's a DC-15A. I do like that gun. It's a pretty good gun for an action figure. Now, his articulation is 14 point, so he can bend his wrists. elbows, and his shoulders on a ball joint. His head, of course, can bend. And so can his hips. Also, his legs can bend, of course. And his elbows, no, not, no, not elbows, knees. And so can his ankles. I really do like about this, that about this figure. So, now as we have talked about that now this is a dc 15 a and this is a dc 15 i know you're probably wondering why in the world would the bigger one be called a dc 15 instead of dc 15 a well you see attack of the clones if you saw it all the clone troopers had a dc 15 now this rifle big one long one now i'm betting that they made up this rifle this gun uh, later in in the Clone Wars for a lighter infantry weapon. So they called it the DC-15A instead of this called the DC-15A. Now also the belt that he has can come on and off. As you can see, it can detach and you can pull it off, but I prefer to have it on. The um, straps that he has on are connected to the shoulder pauldron he has. And they're also connected to the belt. So if you take that all off, it doesn't have a belt, nor the straps, or the shoulder belt. I like to keep that belt off. And uh, you see he's got that um, symbol that I really do like. Also, he's got that maroon red that is pretty nice. And he is part of the 91st Recon Corps. And he is a bark trooper, which means he rides on a bark speeder I do not have the speeder with me at the moment. That's okay. Now he is pretty cool. So, that's it for today, folks. Make sure to check in with us. Have a nice day.